All right, just a, another few hints of duotone hard edge coloring. So I can delete out with 0% feather with the magic wand, hard edge shapes that reveal highlights. And then alternately, I can also use my lasso to select areas. in my hard edge layer. I'll use option to modify the selection to cut out this leaf. And then I can use my image and adjustments to individually take those shapes, push the midtones darker to build even more duotones. More variations on the local color, the local flat color that was there to begin with. So multiples, multiple light and dark versions of those that same local color. And all of that's considered duotone coloring. And if ever there's an area that just feels kind of too visually open and dull, that might be a good way to approach it. to vary the color a little bit more just by pushing it lighter and darker. I'm almost treating this, these little shapes as kind of camouflage shapes because once you introduce duotone or any type of coloring beyond just flat coloring, you're introducing light sources. And those light sources can be kind of arbitrary. You know, like all the ways I broke up the skull and the beard and the knife. So trying to, to base it on some sort of coherent logic is called light logic. And sometimes that's really necessary. But other times you can just use lighting wherever you think it's going to be most effective. So the last thing I can do in Duotone is I can kind of cut across everything here and I can add a highlight. So just like I used the levels before to darken, I can also use those levels to lighten. And if you want something to look like it's got kind of a reflective quality to it, like satin, you can even push these things beyond what is um, the lightness of your local color. So just by using levels and pushing the midtones back and forth, I am not changing the hue at all. I am not changing the color. I'm just changing how light or dark it is. And that's all considered duotone. And I'll do this on a duplicate because this will be pretty wild because that's looking a little, little involved there, but pretty. I can take a big wave kind of through the whole image. A little slither. Select it all on a copy. Come on, then go to levels, and I can push them lighter in that wedge or darker. Let's start by pushing them lighter. Then I will duplicate Command J onto a new layer. Oh, did it twice there.
and then I'm going to push the next one darker. I can also just push the contrast, right? I can push the highlights in it lighter and I can push the shadows in it darker just in that one band. So this is one approach. This is another approach. And I can even blend them into each other before I'm finished with my duotones by playing with opacity. So I have little variations within and without. And then this is my light one. And so I can use my eraser, hard edged, pretty big. And I can cut out where I want those shadows to be darkest, like under the nose, under the neck. It's like dodge and burn, but just with duotone color. You could also dodge and burn your flat colors, but dodge and burn doesn't actually look that good when you do it hard edged. So proceed with caution there. So these are ways to get just lots of variation. In your work. Just by splitting that local color into a few different values. And once I am happy with all of it, I will merge that all into my duotone layer. Make sure each step makes sense. Yeah. I think it does. Let's give him a little bit of shine on the beard. And if you can't uh, decide on how much to erase it, you can always take the eraser's opacity down because this is still all duotone. Just shifting the lights and darks. All right, enough of that. Okay, so now I've got my duotone color. Let me merge it. It's my duotone hard edged. I'm gonna go ahead and rename my top layer that so that when I merge them all together, it's still labeled correctly. So that was flat color. This is duotone hard edge color. Pretty dramatic change. And that duotone actually includes some highlight colors as well, not just darker colors. And there's different ways to add that in. I could also duplicate my flat color that's showing underneath and then just brighten all of it. This would be pretty typical for duotone. And just gonna push all of that a little bit brighter. and then merge that in to your duotone, if that makes sense. In this case, I'm not sure I like it. So let me see before I merge them.
I do like it, but I'm going to take its opacity down a little bit. Okay, there we go. And now I'll merge them. So you merge by selecting multiple layers, holding shift, and then going to layer, merge layers, or just command E for short. Okay, now I've got duotone. Now what if I want to do duotone soft edged? I can just duplicate the duotone hard edge layer. Lock my hard edge and turn it off. I'm going to relabel this soft edge. So it's another part of my sandwich. And I'm going to use that filter, which is blur, Gaussian blur. And this takes focus away. You can already see it work. And I can zoom in and I can adjust how much I want to blur it. The last time I did this was on my flat color layer to get that slight halo softened where it touches the, um, the sides, right? So that's soft edge duotone. You can see all the tones that are in there. And then, of course, hard edge duotone looks like this. And just like you can kind of selectively erase for your coloring generally, I can selectively erase here. So some of these materials are harder and some of them are softer. So for instance, I'm going to go to my black red layer. I'm going to use my magic wand with contiguous turned on with a high tolerance. I'm going to select and hold down shift into the things that I think are hard edged, like the blade, the skulls, uh, let's see, the mask, the eyepiece, the armor, or the epaulette, rather. So just certain things, I'm just selecting them. Inside the mouth, maybe. And then I could just delete it completely from the soft edged. Or, I kind of like this approach, I can take my eraser at a lower opacity, like a 50% opacity. And because this is soft edged, right, I can take the hardness of my eraser down, make it pretty big. And start erasing away from the soft edge with the soft edged eraser. And that will reveal some harder edges underneath, but maybe not super hard edged, right? Just a little bit harder. Masked in just those areas where I want to. Like on the beard. So this is a mixture of hard edged and soft edged. So it all looks just a little bit more thought through. Yeah. And then just like we did for the flat color, I can decide to take my soft edge layer and change it to dissolve and then take its overall opacity down a little bit. And so when I zoom in, you'll see how it does it with a little bit of texture because I set it onto a dissolve layer.